Hello, uh, welcome to the Perpendicular Vectors video for the vectors topic of higher maths. Uh, today we're going to look at two things, be able to understand and identify the condition for perpendicular vectors and then be able to identify unknown components of perpendicular vectors using that condition. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a wee challenge. Uh, you've done this before, so calculate p dot q if p, the magnitude of p is 5, so I've put those in the wrong place. If the magnitude of p is 5 and the magnitude of q is root 7. Okay, so pause the video, give that a wee bash, and by the time when you come back, I'll explain it. Okay, so p dot q, we've got two options to calculate uh, the dot product, either from the magnitudes or from the components. Here we have magnitudes, here we have the angle, that's what we're going to use. So it's going to be the magnitude of p multiplied by the magnitude of two q cos theta, which is five multiplied by root seven, multiplied by cos 90. Okay, and go back to your graph. I'll just have a wee scribble down here just now. Your cos graph, cos 90 is zero. So that's going to be five times root seven times zero, which is going to be zero. Okay, and I hope you can see it that regardless of what your magnitudes is, because that cos 90 is always going to give you zero, if your vectors are perpendicular, the dot product has to be zero. Okay, if p dot if p is perpendicular to q, therefore p dot q has to equal zero. Okay, and that is the big fact that we're going to use in this video. Okay, oops, blank page for some reason. Uh, now there's a, a wee note for you. I'll do two examples after that. Uh, and you just copy that down and tell you what, why don't you give the examples a try yourself? Okay, so there's example one. Let's give it a wee bash. Okay, so if u is equal to that and v is equal to that, find u dot v. Let's do that first. So a u dot v is equal to 2 multiplied by 6 from your i's plus 3 multiplied by 0 for your j's and then plus negative 4 multiplied by 3 for your k's. Okay, so that's 12, that's 0, and that's negative 12, which is equal to 0. Okay, so there's my dot product. And for part b, what does this tell us about the vectors u and v? You've guessed that, okay. u dot v is equal to 0, therefore u is perpendicular to v. That's proper mathematician writing there, isn't it? Okay, so that's what we have to recognise. If we get a dot product is equal to zero, we have to know straight away, well, that means these two vectors are perpendicular to each other. Okay, why don't you give that example two a try just now? Okay, so if A and B are perpendicular, then we know that A dot B has to equal zero. Okay, which means that 3 times 2 from your eyes, sorry, negative 3 times 2 from your eyes, add P times negative 4 from your J's, plus 5 times 2 from your K's is equal to 0. Okay, that's negative 6, that's minus 4P, that's plus 10 equals 0. Okay, so that's just a wee mistake there. And that means that negative 4p add 4 is equal to 0. And then if you, I would add 4p to both sides there just to keep it positive, which means that 1 is equal to p. Okay, so it's using the fact that, we're, that uh, a and b are perpendicular, knowing that means that the dot product then has to be 0, and then working out from the dot product from there. Okay, perpendicular vectors, dot product equals zero, uh, and it works both ways as well. Cheers.